Baiju is a very important character that you should save your primos for. We all know that Hyper Bloom and Super Bloom teams with Nahida are so powerful that you can 36 star the Abyss with minimal effort and investments. Now Baiju is another key character that enables you to form another powerful Hyper Bloom or Super Bloom team comp alongside Nahida's. This is because Baiju is a catalyst dendro healer that can constantly heal, shield, apply dendro off-field or on-field as a driver, and buff dendro reactions damage. His elemental skill sends out a sprite that can deal small AoE dendro damage to enemies three times, and then followed by healing your entire party at around 10 to 12k HP using a full HP build. This skill has 10 seconds cooldown so it's a very quick party heal that can ensure your team at max health all the time. His passive also increases his healing bonus by 20% when your active character's HP is less than 50%. When the active character's HP is more than 50%, Baiju will gain 25% Dendro damage bonus instead. His elemental burst has 14 seconds duration and 20 seconds cooldown that provides a constantly refreshing shield that also constantly heals the active character and constantly deal ranged AoE Dendro damage at the same time. With full HP build, his shield has around 1k damage absorption, which is minuscule, that will refresh every 2.5 seconds for 5 times. The reason why his shield absorption power is minuscule however, is because maybe he is supposed to be paired with Nilo in a Super Bloom team comp. Nilo's passive increases her entire team by 100 elemental mastery for 10 seconds, every time they are hit with Dendro attacks. So Baiju's shield that provides only just enough absorption power, helps to mitigate the damage from the Bountiful Cores, but still provides the team the damage they need to activate the Nilo's passive. Now every time this shield refreshes, or breaks, or expired, it will send out a spirit that deal AoE Dendro damage to the enemies and heal your active character at around 5 to 6k HP using full HP build. This can happen 5 times during the 14 seconds duration. So in summary, his elemental burst will heal your active character for 6 times in total at around 5 to 6k HP, totaling at around 40k HP, over 14 seconds duration. Also, every time a character is healed by his elemental burst, they will gain Dendro Reaction Damage Bonus by 2% and Quicken Reaction Damage Bonus by 0.8% for each 1k HP of Baiju's max HP. This buff lasts 6 seconds each time it triggers, and is capped at 50k HP, so the maximum damage bonus can reach 100% for the Dendro Reaction Damage, and 40% for the Quicken Reaction Damage. With this kit, it's pretty clear that they have designed Baiju with Nilo in mind, although I believe Baiju will also perform great in a Hyper Bloom, or Quicken Team Comp. With Baiju, you can choose to run him with Nahida, or without Nahida. If you want to create an Ultimate Hyper Bloom or Super Bloom Team Comp, then Baiju should be in the same team with Nahida, providing the team Super Dendro buffs and healing at the same time. For example, Baiju with Nahida, Nilo, and Yelan could make a great Super Bloom team with Nilo as the main DPS. But if you want to clear the Abyss using two Dendro teams on both sides, it's best to separate Baiju and Nahida in their own team comp. For example, you can run the first team with Nahida, Shinchio, Kuki, and I'll hate them for the Hyper Bloom team comp, and the second team with Baiju, Nilo, Yelan, and Kave for the Super Bloom team comp, using Kave as the main DPS, which I will cover in the separate video later. If for some reason you can't have Kave, you can always use Tainari or Dendro MC and use Nilo as the main DPS. With Baiju and Nahida on your account, the Dendro team comp possibilities are endless, so make sure to prioritize them over anyone else. I also want to recommend you guys to save for Alhatham after you get Baiju, if you haven't pulled him in his previous banner. The reason why I recommend pulling for Dendro characters is because they are very easy to build and very powerful at C0. Now let's explore which build is the best for Baiju. From the kit that we've seen, it is clear that Baiju should be built with full HP to maximize his healing and buffing power. And as a full-time healer, let's equip him with the Ocean Hued Clam Artifact set to maximize both his healing and his damage through the artifact set's bubble damage. Let's take a look at his damage numbers. As you can see, a full HP Baiju doesn't deal good Dendro damage, but his Ocean Clamp set helps dish out some damage, thanks to his strong healing power. Also, he buffs Dendro reactions, 
so we must take that into the equation as well. Let's assume that in 20 seconds, the active character in Baiju's team can trigger 15 buffed dendro reactions under his elemental burst, so let's see how much DPS increase does Baiju provide to the team. As you can see, after taking his buff into the equation, he has slightly better DPS now, at almost 9k DPS only using a 3-star weapon in a Hyperbloom team comp. He's also doing great in a Super Bloom team with Nilo at 7.7k DPS. I'm surprised that he is not performing that great in a Quicken team comp though with only 6k DPS, but things could change in the future. Considering his on-field time is very minimal, just casting his skill and burst and swap, this 6-9k DPS is a great addition to your team, while maintaining your team's health. Now for comparison, I will show you his DPS and heal numbers using various artifact sets. As you can see, whatever builds you're going to go with Baiju, he is best equipped with the Ocean Hued Clam artifact set. Full HP build is also the best build for him, followed closely by a full EM one. But since HP stat is easier to get than EM stat, it's better to build him full HP instead. Now using the full HP Ocean Hued Clam artifact set, let me show you his weapon DPS comparison. The result is surprising, his signature weapon doesn't do well on both damage and healing power. Nahida's signature weapon however, tops the chart at damage department, but Kokomi's signature weapon provides the best healing power for Baiju. For an F2P like me and many others, the 3 star weapon Thrilling Tales at refinement rank 5 still gives the best value as it can heal better, perform decent damage, and also provides 48% attack boost to the next character occasionally. But overall, Baiju can't go wrong with any catalyst according to this chart. Baiju at Constellations 2 can give 300% dendro damage after an active character hits an opponent every 5 seconds. It also heals the party with 20% the power of Baiju's party heal. So in 20 seconds rotation, Baiju can contribute 1200% dendro damage to the team, which seems pretty decent. But after doing the calculation, even with a full attack build, this damage is still insignificant as you can see on this chart. As you can see, Baiju is already good at C0 and doesn't need any signature weapon nor constellations. He will be a key character that you will always need in any Dendro team comp. Like I said a while ago, you can use him with Nahida for a Super Dendro team or alongside Nahida for another Dendro team comp. Please note that changes are coming very soon by the time you watch this video, so be sure to check out my pinned comment to see if there are significant changes to Baiju's kit. Don't forget to like this video if it's helpful to you, and subscribe to my channel if you like DPS calculation videos like this. And thank you so much for your support.